which was left uh, okay. related to my tour. After spending which was located about 300 kilometers away. Just after leaving, we stayed in our, just after leaving, we stayed in one restaurant which was famous for all Pakistani traditional foods. Mm -hmm. We took our breakfast there with crispy and delicious paratha and mosh chole. Okay. Again, we started our journey. All were excited and enjoying the drive with, with pleasant weather and cool breeze across our faces. Mm -hmm. When we were near to our destination, Everyone was experiencing near, near, near. You should not use to with near. Near. Near our distance. Near or near is equal to close to. Close to. Hmm. We always use to with uh, close, close to. But hmm. near we never use any preposition. Okay. Close to. When we were near our destination. Hmm or when we were we were close to our destination mm -hmm. so when we were near near our destination everyone was experiencing tiredness mm -hmm. so we decided to uh, to take some rest mm -hmm. as you have written experiencing mm -hmm. everybody was experiencing tiredness right Mm, Instead of feeling. that, you can say everybody was feeling tired. Mm. Yes, feeling tired. Uh, everyone was feeling tired, mm. uh, and 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 this is also true. Experiencing tiredness. Yeah, it's okay, but uh, it doesn't look very good. Okay. Was feeling tired. Everybody feeling tired. Was feeling tired. Yes. Tired. Okay. Uh, sir, tired. T I R D E. No, no, no. T I R E D. T I R E D. Tired. Hmm. Tired. The tire is the, that is the, the car. Car tire. T Y R E. T Y R E. That is tire. Car tire. Tired. Hmm. Okay. Everyone was feeling tired, mm. so we decided to take some rest. Yes. Just before, uh, sir, uh, uh, end of the day, uh, sir, morning time is uh, down, and end of the day is dusk. Yes, down. And uh, down and dusk. Uh, just before dusk, mm -hmm. we were in our beautiful rest house. So uh, this is correct sentence. Uh -huh, yes. Just before dusk, just before dusk, we were in our beautiful rest house. As soon as we entered our rest house, rain started, mm -hmm. and when uh, and then uh, all of us uh, escaped, escaped or uh, went, went in our rooms. Mm. And uh, all of uh, uh, we were surprised. We were surprised <laughs> after uh, see, uh, we were surprised after seeing the uh, beautiful scenery uh, of re uh, of rest house, and there was uh, there was a beautiful uh, uh, beautiful orchard of of fruit and vegetable at one part of uh, one part of this restaurant mm -hmm. so just uh, I finished okay. <laughs> only one paragraph okay. because i was writing just before the class mm -hmm. so okay so today i have got some of the questions 
Yes, sir. For you. And I want you to answer these questions. So okay, sir. You are going to speak a lot. Yes, sir. And uh, it will bring you in practice. So my first question is, Yes, sir. How would you define success? Success. Yes. How would you define? This is my question. How would you define success? Mm. Success. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So just speak freely without any tension or problem. Just keep speaking. Or let me know your opinion about it. Yes, sir. Hmm. Okay. So, um, we I have to uh, describe in only one sentence or oh, no, uh, anything you in one I sentence, know about in sentence, in a paragraph, or in paragraphs. Okay. It is up to you. Means this is the question just for speaking. for speaking. Yes. Okay. So, uh, success uh, is the word uh, which is uh, given, uh, giving for the uh, mean success when uh, anybody accomplish uh, his or her aim. Mm -hmm. So, uh, uh, means uh, means uh, when. Uh, Means uh, uh, if I want to describe the word success, uh, every everyone has a different aim in life, mm -hmm. and uh, everyone want to achieve that aim. Mm -hmm. And uh, if anybody has uh, strength and strength and uh, passion, passion and commitment with with his aim or target mm -hmm. so it's easy for uh, e easy for her to achieve the, uh, that target or aim mm -hmm. so you want to say or you want to speak about success means that uh, means everybody in this world uh, mm -hmm. in any age means when suppose uh, any, any uh, human being who is just a child he mm. has different aim or he mm. has uh, something or other aim to, mm. to be something in his life or means we have different yes, aims sir. at different stages of our life yes sir at different stages uh, whenever anybody uh, in his uh, childhood stage so uh, when uh, when anybody is uh, any child is in school going age mm -hmm. and at that time their uh, aim of success or their achievement or their uh, his goal is that that he has to cover all the course mm -hmm. and he has to achieve good marks in their exam mm -hmm. and uh, so uh, means everybody and every person every person in all of his uh, stage of life has their own aim and uh, own aim and uh, own aim to achieve anything and to reach uh, to an, uh, to any target mm -hmm. so or you can uh, simply say that when we have some aim or we decide to get something in our life and when we get it we feel we are successful Yes, sir. Uh, uh, but most of the people, after getting their target, they are uh, after getting their target, they are um, uh, not satisfied. Not satisfied mm -hmm. because uh, because human being is uh, human being is uh, all the time human being wants more and more. Mm -hmm. So they are not sat satisfied. Uh, with anything and they want to achieve more uh, more flexibilities and more uh, uh, more uh, yeah you yeah. simply can say the more we get the more we want hmm, more we, we more we, we get more we want so 
it's human nature actually it applies uh, on everything means if you if we have more money we want more yes sir similarly if we have knowledge we want more and more knowledge yes sir but uh, when we are talking about knowledge so it's very helpful and uh, it's very good to uh, it's very good to uh, sir zyada ki khwahish karna it's very good to get more or get more, more. Hmm. yes sir uh, uh it's it's good to get uh, it's good to uh, desire for more thing uh, more knowledge it's in case of knowledge if we are talking about knowledge it's good to desire for more and if we are talking about things and uh, uh sir usko kya kahenge um sahuliyat aur jo daily life ki jo hoti hain जो संसार की दुनियादारी की चीज दुनियादारी की चीज Yes, sir. If we are to, uh, if we uh, we have uh, we have to uh, we we have desire to achieve more about knowledge. Mm-hmm. So it's a good thing in my opinion. And if we are desire, we have to desire to achieve worldly thing. And uh, we want to achieve more and more uh, thing to. Uh, to survive and to live a uh, uh, live uh, live a live a comfortable life. Hmm. So that thing is something different. Actually, so, how would you connect success with happiness? Can you connect, or do you think is there any relation with success and success happiness? Success and happiness. Yes, sir. Of course, success and happy happiness is uh, related to each other. because if uh, if uh, if we achieve success mm-hmm. so all, uh, so obviously uh, we were happy mm-hmm. about that mm-hmm. so uh, if we have any aim in our mind that we have to achieve that thing so if uh, if anybody is unable to achieve that target mm-hmm. so obviously he remain unhappy and all the time he will engage uh, he will remain engaged uh, to achieve that and and if uh, if he fails to achieve uh, his target so maybe he will be depressed mm-hmm. so um, most of the people uh, if uh, uh, i saw most of the people if they are unable to achieve their success or target or aim any but any whatever you say so uh, they feel uh, depressed themselves but you but, know i have observed that the people uh, in the beginning when they are young they want to earn money or they want to have uh, good standard of living they want to have good house and they want to have all the uh, material things like means house car and mm. uh, uh, whatever we need actually you know the appliances washing machine mm. ac or whatever means they mm. they are busy always in uh, accumulating that and even uh, if suppose they purchase a car or they buy a car uh, after 4 or 5 years uh, they again want to buy a new model new mm. car Yes, sir. So, me, they are always busy in getting something or other, and for that they have to work hard to earn money. Yes, sir. And they uh, keep practicing the same their yes, full sir. life. But when they are old, you know, mm-hmm. suppose mm-hmm. when they are uh, <clears throat> their children, they are grown up, they are well settled somewhere, and that time you know the husband and wife they are alone, they are old. they are in their old age you can say when they are 65 or 70 years 
that time uh, what they think actually uh, do they repent or do they think that whatever they did in the past was not as good as they thought mm. means what is their thinking i don't know whether you uh, can answer it but still i want you to answer that question yes sir means as you uh, might have observed your uh, parents mm. or, or your uh, in-laws mm. what do they think means as they were busy uh, earlier in uh, earning money or to just take care of their children but yes, sir. Days they are alone you know don't don't you think they are alone because their children even uh, your uh, do you have your in laws yes sir i have in laws in law and father in law yes sir i have both so mother and father in law you are staying with them or uh, you are staying in a separate house no sir we are staying with them okay so you are staying with them still you think you have uh, much time to talk to them yes sir you are right so uh, before answering your question sir uh, i want to ask uh, about one word uh, just you use repent ah uh, yes say yes. repent ah repent. this is new word yes. for me yes, uh, repent is you know uh, in hindi it say pachtana you know pachtana hmm. pachtana matlab urdu mein kya hmm yes sir you know repent uh, repent pastana yes sir i understood yeah so mm. repent means to mm. miss the repent me don't ko pachtava hota hai kya that i want to ask mm. yes sir so i think i have asked you that question in detail yes sir so now i expect you to answer it answer also in detail yes sir uh, yes sir i am living with uh, my uh, in laws and uh alhamdulillah mother and father uh, in law is uh, alive and they are healthy and uh, but uh, uh, we are sp- spending uh, uh, our uh, most of the time with them and uh, yes sir uh, 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 but uh, as related to this uh, this topic uh, uh i want to say that most of the most of the parents spend their whole life mm-hmm. in achieving achieving uh, their uh, goal to establish their children mm-hmm. and to give them give them uh, uh, all the good good life uh, good good education and living mm-hmm. and uh education living and uh, sir khana peena ko kya kahenge uh-huh. education living isi mein aa jayega living yes acha khana mein hum education and living and life uh, good lifestyle yes so so most of the parents uh, are successful uh, successful in giving all these uh, things and they give good opportunities to their children mm-hmm. and they send uh, they send uh, uh, they give them higher education and most of the student most of the parents wants to uh, 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 to uh, uh, send their children uh, uh, send their children abroad for higher education mm-hmm. and uh, so uh, mm-hmm. most of the children uh, Uh, did not come back after uh, after acquiring higher education from mm-hmm. abroad mm-hmm. so uh, uh, in my opinion uh, this, this is uh, too uh, bad or uh, uh, sir dil dukhane wali ko kya kahenge dil dukhane wali baatein matlab yeah. uh, i want to say ke jab parents ko akela chhod dete hain pinches us very much you can say sorry it pinches us pinches us hmm. so uh, it pinches us that when uh, when uh, the old parents have to spend their uh, uh, spend their old age life difficult life They are alone, left alone hmm. yes sir it pinches uh, us that when uh, old uh, the parents have to spend uh, sorry what you said 
they are oh, left alone mm, they are left alone in their uh, in their old age life so so there are uh, i uh, i saw many families uh, in which there are um, uh, there are uh, um, uh, more than one uh, two or three or four sons Uh, mm-hmm. and daughters and at the end of, at the last stage and in uh, in old age uh, they are alone and they remain alone and they have have to spend life alone uh, so um, and, uh, uh, and uh, this situation is very uh, uh very uh, sad uh, sad looking that when uh, when parents uh but uh, but uh, uh mm. um uh, in my uh, i i think that uh, if the if the children are living in same country or in, uh, in same city so they have to spend their spend their life uh by living together because yeah but you know sometimes it happens i have seen uh that kind of situation in our uh, country in our indian families that you know when their uh, sons when they are unmarried hmm they like to stay with their parents but when as soon as they get married they have their wives so that time you know uh, their wife yes sir their wives they are unable to cope up with their with uh, their in-laws you know means some confliction is always there yes sir it seems that uh, it seems that uh, the new com- coming uh, lady or wife uh, yes. don't want to live uh, with their in-laws mm-hmm. so i uh, but nowadays i saw that uh, most of the girls want to live alone with their husband oh, yes. and they did not want to uh, spend life with their in-laws uh, but the same girl when we are talking about their parents they want they want all the things and all the sympathy with their parents yes <laughs> so the uh, but and actually, sir, you know uh, if, if the girls actually if they uh, follow or if they go in that practice then definitely they are going to set an example before uh, their children also you know if uh, they don't want to uh, live with their in-laws then definitely the children they don't want to live with you um, mm. they get married Yes, sir. But actually, you are doing this time the same thing is going to happen with you in yes, future sir. because the children they think it's a, actually it's a small story also. Yes, sir. कि वो कहता है बच्चा कि माँ आप भी तो फिर अकेली रहोगी इसलिए मैं ऐसा कर रहा हूँ like that means it was a small story because he was observing the same thing. Like yes, sir. Her mother was doing the same thing with uh, his grandparents. and what is the phrase about that uh, what we uh, saw uh, yeah yeah read. yeah shall, shall hmm. yeah what you saw shall what you read so shall, hmm, shall what you saw shall you reap yes. so that the same thing yes. and sir uh, you know uh, about the uh, old home areas Uh, so old home nowadays old home are full of uh, uh, full of old people and uh, i just saw one uh, one uh, program on uh, tv and uh, last week in which they are uh, one of the anchor uh, famous anchor was visiting the old home uh, in karachi mm-hmm. so he was uh, he was taking interview from old people uh, who was uh, who were residing there for many years so the story um, uh, almost st- all, almost story of all the old people was same uh, so uh, uh, all were all was uh, saying that uh, when he was young they uh, they established their business uh, they established their business and uh, then uh, 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 there was a quarrel among uh, 
there 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 was a quarrel among two brother mm-hmm. means their son mm-hmm. uh, regarding business and all these thing and after that uh, uh, they uh, sir nikal dene ko kya kahenge ghar se nikal dene ko turn them out turn out turn out hmm. so after that uh, something happen and uh, and son turn turn them out uh, out of the house so so uh, सर थोड़ी बहुत डिफरेंट थी कहानी सारे लोगों की ये कहना चाह रही हूँ मैं कि स्टोरी ऑफ ऑल ऑफ देम वॉज लिटिल सिमिलर स्टोरी ऑफ ऑल ऑफ देम वॉज सिमिलर बट बट आफ्टर आफ्टर सिंग दैट प्रोग्राम आई वॉज वेरी अपसेट रिगार्डिंग दैट इशू Mm. so i was thinking that uh, 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 there must be uh, some uh, special th- uh, there must be uh, because the, uh, this will run in generation in generation and and these situation will happen jab tak life hai jab tak duniya hai sir jab tak duniya hai ye situation chalti rahegi Uh, the situation will remain as it is. It will remain be there until uh, or uh, as long as that uh, world is there. World is there. Hmm. The situation will remain there as long as world world is okay. there. Hmm. So uh, uh, so I was uh, thinking that there must be any uh, uh, any. Uh, Uh, any uh, solution of that thing yeah, actually the solution is that definitely if uh, me you should have some provisions for yourself for you and for your husband for your old age hmm. you know because uh, i don't say that your children are going to go astray but uh, but they are they suppose they may be out of the city or they are settled outside of the country that time even you are alone with your husband me yes. you both husband and wife are alone that time you should have some provisions with you like mm-hmm. provisions like me you should have at least money with you so mm-hmm. with that money you can arrange everything for you in your old age yes sir me uh, actually you know Uh, we have to decide it now when we are young mm. that uh, our life should be uh, should not be in, you can say trouble but sir every parent did not uh, uh, think like that uh, they want to spend everything to achieve the good future uh, good future of their children yeah they I have uh, they don't have too problem. much Mm. I, I agree with you. I don't say that you should compromise mm. uh, the future of your child, or children. That I don't say. Of course, you should do everything good or the best thing for your children. Mm. But but still, you should have some provisions for you. That I want to tell. Yes, sir. And miss, uh, if you have suppose hundred rupees with you. Hmm. Then you can spend fifty, sixty rupees for your child. Hmm. But remaining forty should always be there for you and for your future. Hmm. Because no, I think <clears throat> sometimes it happens. Even your children or your son or daughter, they hmm. want to do something for you, but they are helpless that time. Either they are out of the country or they are not that much rich or. whatever it is means many reasons may be there hmm. so it is always better to have something for you hmm. for your bad days and hmm. your bad days would be your old days that yes sir because when we are old we suffer from uh, problems disease yes sir at that time our body is weak we are unable to walk we are unable to do our work Yes. ourselves we need someone to help us mm. a lot of things are there so at least if you have money you can engage someone who can take care of you you can engage a nurse or someone or whatever means 
Yes, sir. So I think uh, it's my opinion. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, that uh, your opinion is very good, and uh, means that we have to get any solution of that thing. So one, uh, uh, this is uh, uh, not total solution, but one uh, one point to uh, uh, to spend uh, old life. Uh, in uh, in happy way so and um, in my opinion another way uh, to spend happy uh, life and uh, i think that uh, when uh, we are living so we uh, so, oh, so parents uh, 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 when children grown up and after married of children the parents have to do one thing Mm -hmm. uh, they in starting they have to uh, create uh, they have to develop that type of setup mm -hmm. uh, in which uh, they are living in in same house mm -hmm. same house but in little distance ah, yes, in yes, my sir. opinion yes, because uh, uh, the the girl which is coming in another house and another environment maybe uh, uh, um, uh, maybe the reason is that uh, many girls did not want to live uh, live with them though so uh, uh, i think that in most uh, critical situation in that uh, in in this in, in that scenario is uh, husband mm -hmm. because uh, the, uh, he has to he has to solve the problem which is related to their parents and their wife uh, and and uh, between the parents and his wife, so uh, means the most uh, weak person and in most critical situ situation is in husband. So uh, uh, he has to deal on either side equally. Yeah, but you know, uh, it is very difficult situation for the husbands. You know. Yes. Sir. Actually, as you know. Uh, on the on one hand it is his mother the yes sir other hand it is his wife yes. and uh, it, it is very difficult for him to deal with the situation if suppose he takes the side of his mother and wife gets angry and, but when yes, he takes the side of his wife mother gets angry yes, gets angry and See? sir most of the uh, in most of the families if we uh, if we uh, calculate the uh, ratio of data the, uh, of uh, uh, family breakdown, mm -hmm. so uh, uh, so um, in most of the cases, the reason is that that the girl don't want to live in a joint family system mm -hmm. or uh, like these stories. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, so that's very difficult situation for for a man. Uh, to take in equal way. Uh, even if suppose, even if suppose the husband uh, wants to be very fair, means suppose if suppose it's uh, wife's fault or mistake, then he takes the side of his mother. It's still, that wife doesn't want to understand that it is her fault. Yes, so, sir. In the same case, suppose if he thinks that wife is right here in a particular mm -hmm. situation. And he takes the side of wife, then that time mother gets him. That yes, now sir. you have changed after your marriage. Yes, sir. So it is like that, you know. So the situation is different, but you know, still I think if uh, we can have good relation, yes. even when we are far away from our relatives, parents, or brother or sister, whoever they may be, it is better to live uh, far away. Instead of living together and fighting every day or quarreling for a small issues, yes, sir, it is, always, right. it is always better to live uh, separately. I live think. separately. If uh, they did not uh, live uh, 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 more far, more far, so it's better that uh, they can live in uh, they can live in double story house. Yes, yes, so one yes. family can live. Yeah, portion uh, can be different. Yes. Yes, sir. Yeah, so, and so they may have a separate kitchen, or yes, sir. so it can be done. And it is, it should be done actually. You know, mm -hmm. if problems yes. are created every day, it is always better to uh, stop. Yes, sir. 
these kind of situations yes, there, sir. It's there itself so that's our uh, yes sir and it's not look good uh, when uh, husband uh, husband come uh, uh, come at uh, evening or night hmm. after spending whole day in work and, and you start nagging yes you start sir. nagging nag you understand the meaning of nag nagging uh, नेग मींस इन हिंदी और इन उर्दू वर्ड से चुगली करना चुगली करना मींस मींस स्टार्ट मतलब आप व्हेन योर हस्बैंड कम्स बैक एंड यू स्टार्ट टेलिंग हिम अबाउट योर मदर दैट योर मदर डिड दैट इन द मॉर्निंग यस यू वर अपसेट और व्हाट एट दैट टाइम यू नो ही इज वेरी मच टायर्ड ही डजंट वांट टू he actually he he is not expecting all these things in the evening yes sir because he is tired that time he wants some rest he yes, wants sir. to have yeah. food he wants to take some rest he wants to have a cup of tea or okay. whatever but when he listens all these things he, he loses his temper yes sir of course yeah so it is not good to uh, nag when yes uh, he comes back yes sir uh, uh, even yeah you may talk to him later late night when yes. he has already taken his dinner and he has already relaxed that mm. time uh, the wives can talk to him regarding the problems and it should be it should be in a positive way yes sir. your your means the way of talking should be very positive that time should not be negative and you uh, yes. you should have a smile on your face while you are talking to him so it mm, in that in uh, talking in that way we uh, we can uh, solve the problem if any uh, anything is happening and yes actually uh, you know so I, I, what i because uh, every problem has solution mm. yeah you know actually even the wife if uh, she is intelligent enough and she really uh, wants to get a solution of any problem then she should have a solution with her and then she has to pass that solution to uh, her husband this is the solution and i think you should behave in that way to find or uh, to solve this problem yes sir yeah jaise kehte hai na in hindi ki everything is okay i am happy means positive sentences because you are talking to him about his mother his mother yes and sir. definitely he doesn't want to listen anything wrong about his mother hmm that is natural thing ki koi bhi aadmi apni maa ke bare mein puri baat to sunega nahi so yes, so it is better to uh, start with the positive sentences there like uh, i am happy with that but that is the situation and i want Uh, the solution for that situation i think this is the solution if you do it it can be solved like that hmm. so this way of talking is uh, yes yes is depend on all things should be hmm. very polite very positive and you should understand me you should think before you speak that hmm. me, what you are going to speak and what effect it is going to have yes sir if you think before you speak it is always better but what people do they think after uh, speaking yes sir this is an intelligent way of speaking yeah. if we started uh, if we start in aggressive way it creates problem it is it creates even if you are telling someone the good things or right things mm. they are taken uh, wrongly wrongly if your way of speaking if your tone is not good you know most of the time uh, a quarrel uh, uh, uh simple talking actually leads to a quarrel because yes. of your because of our tone way of speaking yes yeah sir. because of our tone actually uh, if our tone is in threatening voice or like that mm-hmm. hey you have to do that I mean this is not the right way yes sir definitely you want your work to be done but it should be polite it should be in a different way different tone yes sir uh, because the way of yeah. the speaking and the tone uh, tone turns the uh, turns the meaning of sentence even yes actually 
yes you have to understand that mm. that how you have to behave and if you respect everyone you know if you respect everyone and if your it is your aim to respect everyone if it is uh, your uh, servant even yes sir you talk to him politely whether it is your driver it is your servant it is your gardener uh, whoever it may be yes sir to talk to everyone politely like uh, in hindi aur hamare yahan aise bolte bhaiya zara ye kaam kar dena please yes sir to means even if it is your driver you know you should be very polite bhaiya mujhe wahan leke chalo car se Mm-hmm. So like that means you have to be very polite, yes. and your tone should be uh, polite. Me, you should have, you should your your words should be with uh, me. What I should say? Low tone. Yeah, low tone, and your words should be honeyed. Right pitched. Yes, sir. Honeyed. You yes. You understand the meaning? मतलब मीठा बोलिए आप. Yes, sir. Words should be honeyed. Hmm. Yes, sir. We should talk in low pitch, low volume. Yes. Hmm. Because actually, if we speak in a high pitch or high volume, it gives wrong impression. Yes, sir. And uh, and of course, sir. Uh, we were talking about the relation uh, between peoples. Uh, so, um, uh, so it's not very difficult to maintain good relation. So. Uh, by applying all these uh, all these uh, tricks and by speaking yes uh, in low pitch you have good relation with everyone yes sir if you keep all these things in your mind and you bring all these in your practice yes sir you can maintain your a good relation with everyone in your yes. family even outside anywhere Yes, sir. People, they always have good impression about you. Yes, sir. So it is always better to keep all these things. I mean, these are you know the personality that all these things make your personality. Yes, sir. And uh, we have to talk uh, in low pitch voice, and uh, and you are also right that uh, first we have to think, and then we have to speak. and you know the magic of smiling yes of sir magic of having a smile on your face of course sir it's and a magic actually it's mm, just like magic yes sir after combining all these things smile fa- uh, smiley face low pitch voice and uh, uh talk with uh, 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 uh with good words make mm. make person a uh, ideal person and Uh, the impressive person. Or actually, uh, when we speak to anyone or when we talk to anyone, we should always keep ourselves at his or her place. Yes, sir. That means, suppose uh, if I am there, and uh, how would I, how would I be behave, behaved? Means, uh, what would I like? Hmm. Uh, how uh, would I like to be behaved? So, hmm. if you think, uh, if you keep yourself in her, his or her place, hmm. then you will come to know how you should talk to him. Hmm. So he is going to be happy. Hmm. Yes, sir. So if you, or if we think in that way, we can make our life easier. So you said a uh, sentence. How would you have to behave? No, no. I say how I am writing. How would I like to be behaved? How would I like to be behaved? मतलब मैं अप अपने साथ कैसा व्यवहार चाहता हूँ? हम्म सही when you keep yourself at his or her place hmm. how would i like to be behaved hmm. you come to know ki agar main us jagah hota to mere sath koi kaisa vyavhar karega tab mere ko acha lagega hmm sahi so, means you are going to uh, behave in the same manner you should behave 
कि आज मैं इनका ड्राइवर होता तो मेरे से कोई कैसे बोलेगा तो मेरे को अच्छा लगेगा वी हैव टू रिस्पेक्ट एवरीवन आई थिंक यस सर ऑफ कोर्स हु एवर इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू या वी हैव टू बिहेव इन सेम मैनर या विद एवरीवन या एज वी वांट टू बी बिहेव जैसा हम चाहते हैं वैसा दूसरों से करेंगे हम्म सो इवन इफ यू हैव एनी पेट इन योर होम like a dog a cat or whatever it is you if you uh, you know if you love your pet if you love your dog dog loves you yes sir actually it is you know it is two way traffic mm-hmm. if you respect someone you are respected by that person yes sir it's two way traffic you know? But yes, if, if you don't respect people, people won't respect you. Hmm. So, yes, sir. So uh, of course, is, this is uh, uh, this happen in every every relation. Yes. yes. Hmm. Every when, relation, human yes. being and animal in yes. all relation. Even when you are talking to your children, you should talk to them respectfully. Yes, sir. Because they also have their own respect. Yes, sir. At the same time, uh, also they have their own respect, and at the same time, uh, they are learning from us. Yes. Well, how you behave with them, they are yes. going to behave with you in return. They were observing yeah. that uh, the style of uh, uh, talking and all the things, and most of the time, uh, the children reply in that manner that. Uh, uh, if we are instructing uh, them that don't do like this and don't talk with her or him like that mm. so in answer most of the time they reply that uh, uh, means uh, uh, she also speak like that with me so yeah because actually they learn from you yes sir if you respect them they are going to, because they are going to learn everything with you only yes sir yeah. So, and nowadays i am practicing uh, uh with my uh, uh younger son uh, that uh, because uh, they, uh, he don't have habit to call uh, uh, call his uh elder sister uh, means uh, didi or api in mm-hmm. hindi they call the didi na yes, in yes, uh, yes. in our community they call api i know uh, yeah so uh he want to uh, he want to call her with name it's, so it's, yeah you have to teach him all these things from yes, the beginning yes. itself from big name because if we uh, if he call with her name mm-hmm. so uh, it's difficult to give res- respect after calling yes, uh, calling with name then, so automatically if we if we call with the, with the respected name mm-hmm. so automatically he will respect Uh, he will respect elder sister yes, because actually so, he he learns that means if, if she is his uh, elder sister then how he has to behave with yes, her yes sir so they have to learn all these things from the beginning ki badi behan hai to kaise baat karna yes of course hmm. so these things are there hmm. yes. so it was a nice discussion yes sir that was a nice discussion uh, actually you know i have got some more questions yes sir but now i am giving you all these questions to you for our next lesson yes sir so please you just uh, go through these questions yes sir and, and uh, think over it and we'll discuss these questions later mm. on our next lesson on tuesday Hmm? Yes, sir. So yes, sir. we are going to have lesson. Your that would be your thirty seventh lesson on Tuesday. Yes, sir. So that would, but actually that would be little late. Uh, do you have any problem because it is working day? So twelve o'clock is it okay for you? Yes, sir. Okay. So twelve 
o'clock your time yes sir my time would be 12:30 okay sir so see you on tuesday yes sir please go through these questions and try to have the answer of these questions yes sir i will try my best okay thank you have a nice day thank you sir have a nice day thank you bye